Hello, this video will be about the new C++ API in the listing NT. This is the headline feature really for firmware version 1.7. The module now has a C++ API that you can use to write plugins. Plugins in the familiar sense of VST or things that you're used to loading into your door um, to do all the lovely things that you like to do with plugins. So, um, by way of example, let's see how this works. I've got a little patch here, clock from an FH2, using a Lua script sequencer and a, a piano, which sounds like this. And let's say we wanted to add a plugin to this, um, to this preset. So, pre plugin algorithms are added just like any other algorithm. You go into the algorithm menu and do add algorithm. And they're at the end of the list. Here they all are. It says plugin next to them, so you know it's a plugin. Um, and I've got a few plugins here. And the one I'll show you first is gain. Uh, this is kind of in homage to the original VST API. Uh, the simplest plugin example ever was gain, which literally multiply two numbers together. So let's see how we can apply that as a plugin here. So uh, for non-plugin um, algorithms, this always says add. For plugins, unless they're loaded, it says load. So let's load it. It's loaded it. And now it says add, as you would expect. So we'll go to add. And that just pops up in our list of algorithms, same as any other algorithm. And then we can go in and set it up again, like any algorithm. We'll change the routing so it's um, affecting the uh, the piano sound we've got running through it. And then we can go to our gain and we can turn down the gain like that. So there we go, the world's simplest plugin applying gain, and that's like a super simple file, a C++ that you can write and compile, load on the disting and do that. So um, we'll leave that there. No, we'll remove it. So we'll remove gain. Um, so some of the excitement that comes from being able to write plugins uh, is to be able to leverage some existing work uh, that's been done. There's plenty of open source uh, effects and synths and stuff out there, which you can now with a bit of effort rebuild for the Listing NT, including all the stuff that's been done in a language called Faust. Now I'm going to load up one of these now. This is a demo algorithm, a bit of DSP code uh, on the Faust system. I'll come explain more about what Faust is later. It's called Grey Hole. Um, it's based on a certain guitar pedal. No guesses for getting which one. And it sounds like this. We'll just load it and then we'll instantiate it. And then we'll need to check set the routing. And there it is. And we'll change that to replace. It is indeed a big washy effect, as the uh, name suggested. And then we can play with all the parameters. seems to be the key thing. Gives us a big wash. So there you go. Massive reverbs and delays and stuff um, converted from a little bit of publicly available DSP code. Um, and we're not limited to effects. Let me just stop that uh, piano sequence. You can have uh, synths and sound generators in here as well. Uh, let's go and get, say, super simple sawtooth plugin. There we go. Literally just a sawtooth oscillator. Running as a plugin. Uh, there are much more sophisticated ones than that uh, kicking about. Um, 
but that's what we'll talk about for now. So yes, that's plugins on the listing NT. Um, details of this are in our GitHub and we'd encourage you to come and get involved. There's an active community on the Discord uh, talking about this stuff, talking about how we're going to develop it further in the future, what features need to be added, but at the moment you can already do a lot with it. Um, and like I say, these things are you know, almost on a par with the built-in built -in algorithms on the disting. They're not running through a very thin layer of API. So the performance is good. And there we go. It's a very exciting development in turning the disting, this and the lower scripting, really turning this into a very open platform for people to explore their own um, development needs and musical needs, more importantly, I suppose. So yeah, um, Come chat to us about that. One of the motivations for adding a C++ API to the listing NT was so we could leverage Faust, uh, which is this thing here. As it says, Faust is a functional programming language uh, designed specifically to make it easy to develop musical stuff, audio stuff, uh, with a particularly exciting feature that once you've developed your core DSP code, there's a whole system for spitting out um, plugins or applications or apps or whatever, all from the same code. Uh, and we've built on this so that you can take any of this DSP code, some of which that exists already, or stuff that you might want to write, and export a plugin that will run on the listing NT. And I showed that earlier um, in the plugin demo. Um, there's also this rather flashy IDE online a development environment for Faust, which lets you type in your code. This is kind of what it looks like. And it will generate you a diagram of what you're doing and it will actually let you run it as well. So to take as an example, the, the gray hole effect that I showed on the listing um, looks like this. It's literally just pulling in a, a demo from the standard library and then you can run it and it will compile it right here in the browser and it will give you the UI. Uh, you might recognize these are the same parameter names and everything that were on the listing. And then you can even run it right here in the browser. You can use the microphone or you can uh, play an audio file through it, which is going to sound like this. which you probably didn't hear, I realise, because I'm actually got headphones on at the moment. But take it from me, that sounded like a big, washy, reverby thing. Um, so yeah, and then you can just play and develop, and there's a big library of existing... Um, if I can find it, Faust libraries, here we go. There's a huge libraries of, of things that you can freely pull into your own... Um, DSP processes, plenty of reverbs, filters, there's some kind of Moog filter emulations and things like that, synths, generators, um, and of course you can just write everything from scratch and then you put it into your little DSP file and you press the button and out spits a plugin that you can go and run now on your Disney NT, which is all jolly fun. Um, Though, lest we get carried away, I'll just reiterate that it is fundamentally a C++ API on the listing. If you just want to write C, you can do that. You don't have to use Faust. It's just a handy way uh, to write things and to grab all this good free stuff that clever people have done already. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Faust. Mm -hmm.